We don't really know what an electron is at a fundamental level. And this is the point about science. There's one of my great heroes, Richard Feynman, who wrote, if, if you can go online, there's an essay he wrote in 1955 called The Value of Science, and you can just go and type it in and you, you can get it. It's wonderful. And in there, he defines science as a satisfactory philosophy of ignorance. Right. So what it is, science, is the best we can do at any one time. So we're trying to understand with the electron, you know, it was 1897 when it's credited as being discovered. and But we're just trying to understand the way that light came off atoms and try to understand what we saw when we looked at the sun and split the light up into a rainbow, things like that. And so you make models. And what is the, the reason that is successful and the reason that science is the thing on which our civilization is based, whether we notice it or like it or not, is because it's the best way of acquiring reliable knowledge about the world. It's reliable knowledge. It works, as you said. If we assume there are things called electrons, even though we don't really know what they are or how big they are, or you're right, you know, you can carry on digging down. And I'm sure we will find a deeper theory. In fact, in fact, I was going to say that you mentioned Stephen Hawking. So when he wrote A Brief History of Time, it was just after he'd done the original, some of the most original and um, important work on black holes. And he didn't understand what he'd done. He, he discovered something called Hawking radiation. He thought that, until quite late in life actually, he thought that black holes destroy information about the universe. So if you throw a book into a black hole and the black hole evaporates away, which is what he showed they do remarkably, then he thought nothing came out. And then just um, in, in the last few years, he uh, changed his mind and said, no, actually, the new research has come out. I think that I now think information comes out. But I talk about this in the show. It's 2020, 2021 papers that are beginning to suggest how the information comes out. And the reason I say all that is because those theories are beginning to suggest that even space and time, so you talk about electrons, even space and time are built of something else. That's what we're beginning to think now. So, it, you know, time, the thing that ticks on your watch, and space, the room that you're sitting in now, we're beginning to think that there are somehow atoms or building blocks of those things that come out of something deeper.